it. We are going to record this program today. So that means you can take your time and just listen as we go through all the steps. And then if you miss anything, you can always watch it on Capital Blue Cross's YouTube page. You just click on their videos and you'll see a whole bunch of videos, including this one in a couple of days. So thank you so much, Capital Blue Cross Connect Health and Wellness for doing this program with us because today, we are making a gingerbread house and it is going to be so fun and so creative. And we're all going to have a different gingerbread house. And I can't wait to see what you make. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold our canvas or our paper. We're going to hold it vertically. So we're going to hold it this way. And this is the way we're going to draw it. And I'll do it two times. Okay. We are going to do two lines and I'm curving the lines in just a little bit, just to make it like a little more whimsical. But if you want to leave your lines nice and straight, you can do that. Totally up to you. I'm going to put a line down around the bottom. I'm going to put a line right here. I'm kind of curving it just a little bit, just to make it a little fun. I'm going to take this up into a triangle and round it down. Pretty basic so far, right? Then I'm going to do, I'm going to take a little bit of a curvy line all around this. This is going to be snow. And when we get to the painting part, I'll have some snow like drip into, you know, when you do icing on the gingerbread house, the icing always like drips down, right? So we'll make sure we have that icing dripping down. I am going to put a little design. We're going to really design this house. It's going to be awesome. I think those are going to be gumdrops. So I think I'm going to do all different colors. So those are little arches. Maybe you want a window up here. So you saw my son did a, did a round window, right? You see that? Lots of little candies. That's pretty cool, isn't it? So you could do a round window. Or I'm going to do like a rainbow shape window just for something different. I'm going to paint that in in yellow. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, curved door just like that window up there i'm gonna put a doorknob on it i'm gonna put a window here too maybe i'll do a round window here that i can decorate that i can peek out of my gingerbread house from i'm gonna do some windows here and every window is gonna have little decorations on it so these are big arches some window panes Let's put some shutters on here. Shutters. Next to each of our doors, we're going to do candy canes. So, well, I'm going to do candy canes. You can change it to whatever you want. So I'm going to do, that's how you do a candy cane. You just curve the line all the way down. And then I'm going to double the line just like that. So I'm kind of having it lean onto the door. Ooh, that candy cane's kind of crooked. I'm gonna put curved lines going down it. So if you're drawing it, you'll wanna do it like this. If you're painting it, what you'll do is you'll paint it all red and then we can put white stripes on it. We're gonna put a line back here. We're gonna put like a lollipop tree. I want it, I want it like so, um, so fun, right? I'm gonna put another lollipop tree over here. Maybe I'll put like a little fluffy cotton candy tree back there. And then I'm gonna do a candy path. So I'm gonna do ovals. That go out to the side and they lead right up to my gingerbread house. What do you think of that? You can add all little fun details to your gingerbread house. Okay. Like a little heart up here. You can do a little chimney. Chimneys are fun. We'll add some snow to the top of that. You can put some little bricks on it if you want. Like, how would you make your gingerbread house? Would you make it out of like marshmallows? Would you make it out? So you can add like all the little like candies that you want. Little icing decorations. You can make it really, really fun. What do you think? 
This can be snow if you want it to be. I like hearts. I may add some hearts everywhere. Okay, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna show you this in paint, okay? So what I want you to think of is how you're gonna paint yours. What are you gonna change to make it yours? How are you gonna make it look different? Do you want straight lines for your house? Do you want it taller? Do you want it wider? Do you want different shaped windows? What color are you gonna do for your door? Are you gonna put candy canes here? Or are you gonna put candy canes here? Or are you gonna put candy canes everywhere? Are you gonna do little shutters on your windows? Are you going to put anything in the window? Are you gonna do your path the same way that I did? Are you gonna put a chimney? So you have lots of questions, lots of questions to answer so that you can get a gingerbread house that is so fun for y'all. Oh, and look, my son put like stripes. I thought this was cool, stripes on the, someone ate the candy. That's what happens in my house. Um, someone put, he put stripes on the, on the roof. Okay, so you can put some stripes on there. That's kind of fun, right? All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take my paint brushes and we're gonna start painting this. But I want you to take your time. There's no rush. You can watch this on Capital Blue's website and you can come back to it later and do your own thing. So I'm taking a brush, looks like this. And I'm going to take a little bit of brown paint mixed with white. So it's a light brown color. Okay. So I'm going to hold my canvas this way. You can hold it horizontally, but then you'll have a wider house rather than a taller house. So whatever way you want to do it. Taking a little bit of brown mixed with white. And I'm going to do those two curved lines. So I'm going to leave a little bit of room at the bottom because I want to put that pathway in. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here with a little curved line here a curved line here. And I'm just curving it because I thought that would look cool. I thought it would look like a little bit, a little bit like a fairy tale kind of story, story gingerbread house. I'm gonna take my line going underneath my house for these first steps. Anything you wanna change, you can change it, okay? I want you to really design your own house. Think of this as if you made gingerbread and you have to cut the pieces of the gingerbread, how would you cut it? How would you design it with your cookie cutters? What would you do? If you didn't have cookie cutters and you had to design it yourself, how would you design it? All right, then I'm gonna put a line going across. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a triangle shape on the top of this. So this triangle shape is a little bit rounded and it comes back down. I'm gonna put the outline for where the snow is gonna be. A lot of snow and it can be uneven, like it's dripping down, that's okay. And then later after we paint this, we'll put the snow coming on top of it, okay? So we'll put the snow like coming in just a little bit right here, right there. I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna put the door shape in. I'm gonna put a little circle here. My paintbrush is really big. I should have a small paintbrush. I'm gonna put a circle there because inside that circle is, I'm gonna put a little bit of yellow, like a yellow light. So it looks like my gingerbread house is glowing on the inside. Like it's all lit up, like waiting for us to come inside. I'm gonna put an arched shape window here. I'm also gonna paint yellow in there. I'm gonna put an arch shape window right here. Guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna paint yellow in there. I'm gonna put an arch shape window right here. Guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put yellow in there. So it'll make like my house all glowing. What do you think about that? Then I'm gonna just put a line right here and right here. I'm gonna put those ovals, some small, some big. They're gonna go on a diagonal down to the bottom of the paper. So it looks like the pathway's coming up. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the chimney on. So. It's three fourths of a square, right? Three sides, squares have four sides. And I'm gonna put a little bit of snow at the top and I'm just gonna hold on for all the other details. I am going to take a dip in the brown. Now, if you don't want your gingerbread house as dark brown as this, like maybe you want a lighter color gingerbread, just mix your brown with a little bit of white. So brown and white. 
and I'm going to paint all, oh, this is kind of a crazy color. Look at that. It looks like chocolate milk color. Maybe you guys have a more gingerbread looking brown. Look at my, this brown looks like gray, right? This is gingerbread color. This is gray color. So I don't know, let's experiment. So I have brown and white. Maybe if I mix a little bit of, what color do you think I could mix in to make it a little bit different? Maybe a little bit warmer, a little bit more like golden color. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I could try it. Look at, I think I might try, I'm gonna show you, to mix a little bit of yellow in. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I'm gonna try. Nope, it didn't work. It just looks like, that's okay. I'm just gonna stick with the gray color. What do you think? Just stick with that. I like experimenting with the colors. Do you guys experiment with the colors at all? Just to see what will happen. Okay, it's not really turning. So what I did was I took orange, red, and yellow, and I mixed it with a little bit of brown. Because the gingerbread house looks a little bit like light tan. I think I just have like a grayish brown. Fine. Wash it off, dry it off. Everyone's gingerbread house can be a different color, right? <laughs> Mine's just a, a um, chocolate milk color. So I'm gonna go around this. So I'm gonna skip the windows. I'm gonna skip the door. I think I'm, I think I have a good idea for the door. I'm not sure. Anyone have ideas for their door? You can either make it look like it's made of candy or you can paint it a color and do a design on it. So I'll add the candy canes and everything later. You just wanna get the color of the gingerbread house in first, and then we can go back and color everything else. Okay, so all those gingerbread shapes. Wash off your brush and dry. Oops, you know what? You have to paint the chimney too. The chimney goes in brown. So this bottom square of the chimney is in brown. Okay, we're gonna do one thing before we do the background. I'm going to paint yellow inside the windows. So the window here at the door, the window here, here, oop, got a little bit of brown in it. Wait till your brown's dry. Oop, got more brown in it. <laughs> and right there. And we'll just let that go for a minute. Now, I really want to have um, it look like it's snow, like there's snow in the background. So what I'm going to do is I am going to paint this like, you know, when it's, you know, when it's going to snow, it's like light blue in the sky, but a little bit of gray. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my blue paint. I have to reach over and get it. It's really bright though. So I'm going to mix a little bit of white into it. And then maybe a little tiny, like, like just pinpoint of black just to make it a little bit gray. So I have blue and white and I'm gonna mix this together. And it's gonna be a really cool color. We'll put snow on this at the end. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint this light blue color all around my gingerbread house. Before I put those lollipop trees on, you wanna put the background on, okay? So just whatever color you want in the background, or if you wanna paint something in the background, like maybe you want, I mean, you guys are so creative. So you could paint like a whole winter scene in the background. Maybe you want trees, maybe you want a whole forest, of trees with snow on it. So I'm doing blue and white all around my gingerbread house before I put the candy canes on, before I put anything else on. Okay, so take your time. Blue and white. Yeah, this would look cool, wouldn't it? With a lot of like green trees with snow on it. And some candy cane trees. 
I think I'm going to add a tree with snow on it. What do you think? Should I do that for the candy cane trees? Let's do that. All right, so let's add all of this blue and white. I'm getting really close to my gingerbread house. I'm trying not to, to hit it. If you do, it's not a big deal. Okay, you can always just paint over it. Because remember, we have to put the snow on and everything yet. You can kind of like swirl your paint around like it's gonna snow. That's fun to do. Blue and white, so paint all around this. I'm gonna try really hard not to get it on my gingerbread house, but no big deal. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that tree in the background like I told you, because I'm still waiting for that yellow to dry. So I'm gonna have a tall tree back here, just a tall brown line. I'm gonna put a few little branches at the top, few branches, just brown branches going down, just to like right there, because I wanna put some lollipop trees there, right? Then I'm gonna take a little bit of green and I'm gonna mix a little bit of brown into it. I'm gonna get a dark green color. So I'm gonna put some dark green at the top, dark green down all the branches. You always want a darker color first and then the lighter color second. Just green lines going down each side. And then I'm gonna take green and white. So green and white is gonna make a light green and now it's really gonna show up, okay? So a few little lines, just diagonal lines, put some at the top. Let's put some more white in there, right? So you can really see it. A few more lines. Green and white. We'll put snow on that then eventually. So eventually we'll take a few little white lines, add some snow to it. Some white at the top. We'll have a candy cane tree in there. Just put white like at the top of each of the branches. Okay, all right, we are gonna go back to the house. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start doing all the details. This is all gonna be snow down here, but we wanna start filling everything in. So grab all your colors. You might wanna mix some colors, like maybe you're gonna mix blue and red and you're gonna get, what? What are you gonna get? You guys know this, blue and red. So grab blue and red and green and yellow. You can make a whole bunch of different colors, okay? So I mix blue and red, let's see what I got. I got like a raspberry color. So blue and red makes purple, it's supposed to. This made like a raspberry color. So I'm gonna put a few little red jelly beans going into my house. Let's put three. Then I'm gonna dip into yellow. No, you know what? I already have yellow in the windows, so I'm gonna make orange. Yellow and red make orange. So I'm gonna mix yellow and red. All right, now we need another color, right? That's That looks too similar. So let's put some blue and green in there. How about a blue one? How about a green one? Okay. All right, now what we're gonna do is we are gonna go back up to our door. Remember we were gonna put candy canes around the door. So let's take the red and let's just put the shape of it in first. So it's just a curved line. So I'm having mine come like around the door. Like each one's gonna kind of, you can stand yours up straight. Mine's gonna just lean against the door. So I'm doing it in red first, just curve your line and then come down to the corner doing it in red first and then I'll let it dry. And then I'll come back and put those white stripes on. All right, now think about what color you want for your door. Let's see what we did here on this gingerbread house. What color is that? He did green. Oh, green doors is cool. I think I'm gonna do a green door. If you mix green and yellow, you'll get a really, really bright green. It's pretty cool. So let's see. I think I'm gonna mix green and yellow. I'm gonna do a green door. Oh, I like the green door. Okay, now my brown is still a little wet, so you just want to take your time. Let's go all around. I'm going to decorate this door then. 
I think I'm gonna make it look like a green and white candy cane, like a spearmint candy cane. What do you think? I'm gonna go all around that window. I'm gonna outline that eventually, just like that. I want to make the shutters next to my windows. I think I wanna make them look like candy canes too. So I'm gonna paint them in red first, and then I'll come back to just a red rectangle. I'll come back and add stripes in a little bit, whoops. So you have to put all the colors in, and then you come back and you put like all the details in. So use a small brush. My brush is a little big, so it's getting everything like a little bit crazy. So I have shutters at the top there now. Oh, you know what we had right here? We had little gumdrops. So let's put, take all our colors. I'm gonna see if I can make pink too. Pink gumdrops. Now I'm gonna add, ours is pink, you have pink frosting. Oh, I bet that's cool. Like for the snow, you have pink frosting. I love that idea so much. I think I'm gonna do um so some pink little gumdrops. So I'm just skipping, skipping some areas. Ooh, I love the idea of the pink. I'm gonna add some pink down here too, because that one's like too dark for jelly beans, right? Okay, let's go back up. I'm gonna add some more colors for our gumdrops and we're gonna outline everything so it'll look really nice and, and bright. Okay, so I'm adding blue and white together. Can you see that? Let me put, put them in white. Let me see if you can see that. Okay, let me look at my sample. I am gonna put the outlines for the lollipop trees in right now. And then we're gonna outline it, okay? We have to come back and do the snow and put all the window shapes in. And look, my son put little candies around all the windows. You can really get detailed. Oh, look at the candy cane shutters. See that? Pretty cool. I am going to take a circle of white. I'm just gonna swirl it around my candy cane tree, okay? In a little bit, I'm gonna fill this in with different colors and I want a candy cane tree over here. So I'm gonna leave that go for a minute, okay? And then we're gonna come back and fill that in. And then we also had like that, can that cotton candy tree. So I'm just gonna, oops, I got pink on it. I made it pink already. Smush like a cloud right there. And pretty soon I'll put a trunk on it. All right. I am going to scoop into my white. Now I wanna try this pink frosting idea because I really like that. And I still have red on my brush. So it might stay white or it might turn pink. I don't know. I'm gonna start at the top of my gingerbread house and start swirling the white paint. Actually it's turning pink onto my house. Okay, so take the white paint start swirling it down like it's dripping off the roof, dripping down. The white is such, or the pink is such a good idea. So change your frosting to whatever you want. Pretend you're decorating this, pretend you're painting this in. Okay, so there's some white there, some white on the chimney. Gonna come down to this snow right here. So you want snow like all at the bottom of the house, all around. Make sure your paintbrush is really washed off and dried off. Mine is kind of messy. So it keeps getting all kinds of colors in there. And you wanna go around each of those little jelly bean steps. Make sure they're dry before you do that or else it's gonna happen like mine, kind of smooshes. Go around each one. You don't need the outline anymore. You just want to see the steps. Okay. Paint this all white. Go around each one. Okay. It's coming together, you guys. It's coming together. All right. I'm going to switch to a smaller brush. So let me see here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start outlining the windows. So I'm going to take a little bit of black. And of course, you can take whatever color you want. You don't have to use black. I'm gonna outline my window 
And then I'm gonna put little window panes in. Okay, like a little, little cross shape in the middle. So I'm gonna outline each window. You can outline it in, in white, in black, in another color, but it makes it really stand out then. I'll put a little line down the middle and then two lines going horizontally. So let's go to the next one, little arch. And then two lines going horizontally. Let's go down to this little window down here on the door. I like the shape of the window, right? Not like a perfect circle. And I am gonna, you know what? I'm gonna do what um, my son did. I'm gonna put a little, like the panes in the window, like a little horizontal line, vertical line. And then I'm gonna put some little dots of candy going around that door. So I'm gonna just put it in white so you can see it on the camera. And then I'm gonna take a dip in the red. Do red and white going around. So it's like a candy cane kind of window. Okay, let me just get that window pane in a little bit darker. You wanna put a doorknob on because we wanna be able to get into your house. Let's decorate that door. So first I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take some little dots of white paint and I'm gonna go around my door. Just gonna outline around the door first. And now I'm gonna use a little bit of red paint and I'm just gonna paint some red stripes. Now, you know, red and white will make pink. So if you don't want it like really pink, just wait till it dries. I want some stripe. I want a really fancy gingerbread house. So I'm gonna take some stripes, put it down my door, skip the window. It looks like I wrapped my front door. Let's go to the candy canes. My red is dry. So I'm gonna start adding diagonal stripes. Who likes candy canes? You guys like candy canes? Little brush, go diagonal, diagonal. This candy cane looks like it fell on my front door. <laughs> okay, I am going to put, you can outline these steps with white if they got like a little covered up by the snow. Let's come up to our windows on the top. I am going to outline them first. I just did them in red. I am going to add a little white heart right here to the top of each window. And when that dries, I'm gonna paint it red. It'll look just a little bit cuter or pink or maybe light purple. I have to try my other colors, you guys. Okay, then I'm gonna add some candy cane stripes down this. You know, it'd be cool if mine was a little bigger, if you could see like in the windows, maybe you could paint like, I don't know, like a Christmas tree in the window or like maybe people doing something in the window. That would be so cool. I didn't think of that. If you could see in the window, like what would you see? Maybe a tree getting decorated. I'm gonna put some pink around this window to jazz it up, little candies. How about green and pink? I think green and pink go good together. So I'm pretending these are like little Skittles all around my window. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I, and you put candy like on your, like everywhere, everywhere. All right, I'm gonna put, you could put candy on your chimney. Like maybe it's making up your whole chimney, all little dots of candy because that's what you use to decorate the gingerbread house, right? You might want to put a gingerbread man on here. That would be cool. Okay, I am going to go back to my lollipop trees. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my small brush. I'm going to dip it in the red or whatever color you want. And I'm going to start in the middle and I'm going to start swirling my paint around until it gets to the end. Do you see how I did that? Okay, let's do it again. I'm gonna come over to the other side. 
put a dot in the middle, start swirling it. You can practice this on paper. Keep swirling it. You can take a dip in whatever color you want for your candy cane stick. I think I'm gonna do, I'll do black so you can see it. Black, black. It's kind of on top of the snow there, right? So we need to make it look like it's in the snow. So let's put like a little bit of a shadow next to it. And then I'm gonna come up to my candy cane. No, my, what did we call it? A cotton candy lollipop. I'm gonna mix red and white to get pink, to get a really cool pink. This was a fun one, right? So fun to like create. I'm gonna make a fluffy. Ooh. Fluffy, fluffy candy cane. No, I keep saying candy cane. Peppermint, no. Oh, I'm thinking of all the good stuff. Cotton candy tree. Can you see that? Just like that. Okay. And then if you want to just put a little white on it. Okay. And then what you're going to do is, oh, let's paint those um, little hearts in red. So go up here. Little hearts little heart on top of your door. You can decorate it however you want. Now, if your gingerbread house is really dark like mine and you want to start making it lighter and decorate it with like little candies all through the house, you can take little your little paintbrush and just pretend that you're decorating it with all kinds of little candies. So little dots of color. Okay, you could do that or you can just leave it. Make sure the snow is all the way at the bottom of your house. And then what you're going to do is you're going to do the snow. So the snow can get a little messy. So I want you to make sure that you roll your sleeves up. You ask your parents if you can do this. And just make sure your surface is all ready for this step. What you're going to do is you're going to take, you can take a small paintbrush. You dip it in the water. You dip it in the paint. And now I have white on my paintbrush. And what you're going to do is you're just going to take the paintbrush and just tap it on to, see how I'm doing that? And the snow lands on the canvas, okay? But it has to be wet enough because a dry paintbrush isn't gonna work. So your snow has to be kind of like drippy like this and you just go like this and you just drip it on and you'll have lots of snow all over your canvas, okay? So if you wanna add some snow all over, make sure your parents know, and then you can get creative with it. I hope you guys had a really fun time today creating your gingerbread canvas. If you want to share it with me, share it with me at Rowie Ebert Art and take your time doing this. Capital Blue will put it on. And also you're going to look like this when you're painting your snow. So just take your time. Be careful. It's fun now. Just be careful that you protect your surface. Um, Capital Blue is going to put this on their YouTube page. So just click on videos and you'll be able to watch this at any time. There's lots of holiday videos on there that we've done in the past. So you can do that over the holidays. I hope you have a great holiday with your family and I will see you in the new year. Bye everyone.